Okay, I'm going to talk about adherence to glaucoma medication. Adherence or compliance definition. If you have a patient that is using eye drops twice a day, and if you follow him over 50 days, so he should apply 100 applications. If your patient missed the drops three times, then you will say that his adherence is 97%. In this city, another patient, the patient misses the drops 14 times, so the adherence is 86%. Another term is persistence. Persistence, suppose this patient keep using the drops correctly twice a day till one week, so we'll say the persistence is one week. In this other patient, he keep using the drops regularly for three weeks. Then the persistence is three weeks. So persistence means the interval that the patient was struck to the medication and using it the way it should be. It's As you notice here, adherence or compliance give us a better information than persistence to the drug. Information collected can be through either the patient will do a self-report. You can give him a questionnaire. You can ask him how often you miss putting the drug. Or by supplying a patient by some electronic monitors like this one. It's just an apparatus here. You put the drops and the patient, whenever he put the one drop in his eye, then there will be a record inside this electronic part. You can say, tell how many times the patient actually used the drug. Or if you have um, an insurance and the patient is receiving the drugs th through the organization, then you can check the refill data of the patients. Is he's coming to for a asking for a refill regular or he's missing? Then you can estimate how much the patient is missing application of the drugs. Say this patient, one of the terms used what we call medication position ratio. This patient get a refill here, they miss it a couple of days, then another refill, miss it, refill, miss it, all this miss, then refill. Now the drug is sufficient for 30 days, so over the year he get the drug five times out of this whole year. So he possesses the drug 41% of the time. This is the, the meaning of medical position ratio. We need the patient to be fully adherent for the medication because being restricted to medication, this will help continuous lowering of the IOP and prevent fluctuation. The two factors are important. If the IOP is high, the damage is likely to occur. If there is fluctuation, the damage is likely to occur. So you want the patient to have a lower IOP all the time, no fluctuation. So both factors are important to protect against glaucoma, visual damage, and this catch. Suppose you have a patient, and on his follow-up, you check the pressure. The pressure is normal, but the field is deteriorating. In this situation, you may think that the drug is not effective enough, then you may think of adding more drugs or something. But keep in mind, maybe the patient is not a good adherent to the treatment. So and instead of just adding drug, make sure, ask the patient that he is using the drug in the proper way. Problem with glaucoma, Compliance is very difficult. Any disease that is asymptomatic, it's, it's easy to forget not to take the drugs. Non-adherence is estimated to, in the different parts of the literature, between 4.6 up to 80% non-adherence, depending on the study, the way it was calculated, 
the, the definition of non-adherence and other factors. So at least we have a very good part of our patients non-adherent to the medication. What are the causes of non-compliance or non-adherence? This study was done on 300 patients and they start to see the percentage of the different causes of non-adherence. On the top, forgetting using the drug. 40% the cause was to forget to use the drug. 25% was the cost of the drug. Then comes that concerning the side effects or running out the drugs. So keep in mind that forgetting putting the drugs is the main cause. In another study on 500 patients or persons, again, forgetting putting the drugs was 35%. Being away from the drug was in 31%. So forgetting forgetfulness is the main factor. Glaucoma is chronic, asymptomatic, and this makes the patient difficult to remember putting the drug. So, when prescribing drug, consider the lifestyle of the patient and make an association between the time of application and something he's doing every day. Say he's praying twice a day. So please put the drug every time when you go for Fagr and for Maghrib prayer. He's going to apply the drops once at night time. Okay, every night at uh, 10 o'clock you are watching the news. Please remember, every time you go 9 o'clock for the news or 10 o'clock for the news, put the drops. Make an association between his life, things, and to put a medication. We, we should give clear information to the patient. Say we should make some chart or some uh, printout and we'll say this is drops number one, you're going to apply it 6 a.m., 6 p.m. Drop number two, you're going to apply 9 p.m. And you should check with the patient, you know the drug, what's its name, how frequent it is, just to be make sure that the patient can understand what he should do. And on next visit, you can, we have to ask the patient again about the names and the time of application. I've tried myself, sometimes I'm using a drug now, I sometimes I don't remember, it. did I take it or not? I'm just using tablets once per day. And sometimes I'm not sure, did I have it or not? So if you get a calendar and just simply mark that you leave it. Now, second factor is cost of medication. When there is, a, I consider that there is a significant uh, cost for the patient, the adherence is less. The cost does not only apply for the medication, but also it includes the cost of sup the medical supply of the service. The patient may not have enough money to come for regular visits to the doctor. A third factor is knowledge or motivation. Lack of education about the danger of glaucoma can be a major factor for non-adherence. Receiving free samples also decrease adherence to medication, and it was found that active learners get sticked more to the medication than passive learners. For example, in this study, the question was, which of the following do you believe are risk of not using the medication as recommended, okay? Those who believe there will be a vision loss, they say yes, it's, it's dangerous, there will be a vision loss. The amount of position of the drug is higher than those who don't believe in that. So this is a better knowing that it's restrict, it's, it's dangerous, they are restricted more. Say, if not using the drug will increase the pressure of the eye. Those who believe in that, they are more adherent to the drug. 
if you are not using the drug there will be nerve damage again those who believe in that they are more strict if you are not going to use the drug you are going to be blind those who say yes they are more strict so you need the patient to be aware so a main factor is lack of information and we should cover this either it's a doctor patient relationship or we can go for the media and uh, make more information about the glaucoma and the damage that another factor is when the drug is, is, is interfering with the daily life of the patient the more a therapeutic regimen interferes with the patient's daily pattern of living the less likely it will be followed If you have a patient and you are going to supply him with drugs that will be used once a day, he will restrict to the medication better than twice a day or much, much better than three times a day. So consider the frequency of using drops and that it will not interfere with the life of the patient. The use of glaucoma medication involving greater than two drops per day will lead to significant non-adherence. Consider also that the patient may be using multiple other medications for other some other disease in his body. In this study there was check for the relation between adherence adherence and the number of medication used on this column this is patients who are using one one medication and here those who are using two medications three medications four medications adherence was defined that filling was at least 75 percent of the prescribed medications the blue indicates adherence here is the number of the patients and the percentage. So those who are receiving one, one type of medication, the adherence rate is 80%. Those who are receiving two or three medication, the adherence is 60%. S so it's better to use one drop compared to using two drops. Another factor is our difficulty in using the drops. We are missing this very much. It can be due to shaky hands, our frequent blinking, our, the patient cannot direct the bottle uh, to the palpebral fissure, our poor visibility of the tip. I cannot identify the type of drops they're going to use. I'll get problem with the squeezing on the dropper for the drops to come out or cannot direct the drop the bottle directly into the palpebral fissure all these are different factors that would lower the use of the drugs so for us we need to train the patient you can get some artificial tears at the clinic and let the assistant to train the patient to apply the drugs so he can do it later at home If the drug is not available, then the patient can put drops at his work and drops at another bottle at home, so the drug should be available all the time for him. Concerning about the side effects, glaucoma itself is free of symptoms till late stage when the patient is blind. On the other hand, the treatment can produce symptoms, so it's very easy to abandon using the treatment as long as the, the, the disease itself is not causing problem. One of the factors that increase the side effects is the presence of preservatives. These are the different side effects with the preservative. 
and it was found there is a good correlation between the presence of side effects and staying adherent to the medication. That's why we are now having non-preservative eye drops, and that's why it's better to use a combination, uh, two drugs in one bottle, than a Here in this study, we are checking the prevalence of symptoms and signs if you are using preservative drops. Here, no preservative, one bottle, two product, three product with preservative. And you notice that the symptoms of problems are higher when we are using three bottles with preservative and least when using no preservative in the different symptoms and the signs of uh, conjunctival signs, palpebral signs, or corneal signs. So for Shishia punctate keratopathy. Symptoms and signs are better when we are using preservative free and at worst when we are using more and more preservative drugs. So when the patient is considering side effects, first we need to inform him about the side effects we can teach him how to minimize the side effects or we can use or change into another drug or preservative free drug. This is a summary of the different factors that lower adherence to medication. Thank you.